First of all, congratulations, new two-year contract. Are you looking forward to staying at the Rhinos? Yeah, I'm over the moon. I'm, I'm glad that the future's finally been sorted. And no, it's um, I'm loving it. Like I'm loving the role I've got at the moment. I'm loving playing in all different spots and uh, doing being a part of this team. And I think we've got such an exciting prospect of a group here, and, and I love it here. So no, I'm, I'm over the moon to have it sorted. Naturally, at this stage of your career, the, the next contract was going to be an important one. You had to look around, but you've decided to, to commit to the Rhinos. Yeah, obviously, there was, a, there was a bit of interest elsewhere and stuff, but I think, like, once I spoke to Rich and Kevin, obviously, the, the talk from what my role in the team is and um, what, how valuable, the, valuable the, the way, what I would bring to the team, um, it just it was really an easy sell, really. And, like I say, I'm really happy here and I'm over the moon. And in terms of the team, you, you're going great at the moment. Uh, three tries against uh, against Salford at the weekend. You must be enjoying your rugby. Yeah, I am, and that's the thing. I've, I've found in my career that when I'm happy and I'm, um, and I'm, and I enjoy it, I play my best rugby. And uh, at the minute, that's 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 really good. And like I say, we, we've had a good performance at the weekend. And like I say, I'm still learning a few different positions. I'm still learning the roles and the ins and outs of them. But like I say, no, I'm, I feel like I'm adapting well to it. And obviously. Rich and Kev have seen that and happy to keep me here and I'm happy to stay. That versatile role uh, within the squad, is, is that something you've now got, uh, you're looking to, to really thrive in and trying to do what you can for the side? Well, listen, I've played I've played halfback for all my whole career. I've, 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 that's all I've ever done and it's the only position I've ever known and, and that's that's my favourite position. Um, but in, in the same token, I love also being a part of this team and, and, and there's there's different needs and the team needs and player needs are totally are two different things and I've always been someone that's valued on putting the team first and at the minute at the start of the year we had a chat with Rich about what my role would be and what I could contribute to the team and I feel that like I'm doing that and every time I, I put a shirt on I feel like I could do that so whether that be six, seven, nine or one or whatever the I just just hope he doesn't put me at prop. I just I, I might refuse that one. <laughs> I mean um, but no like I said I'm, I'm enjoying the role and like I said when I play when I'm happy and I'm uh, feeling like I'm contrib contributing um, I play my best rugby so yeah, I get to be a part of that, and I know I'm really excited. Rich has spoke openly about uh, how impressed he's been with your attitude. You were at a crossroads at the end of last season, and how you've come back into pre-season and, and really made that place, place in the squad. Uh, that must please you that, that you've been able to, to take matters into your control. Yeah, I think. Well, I think we spoke. We had quite an honest chat, me and Rich, at the beginning of the year. I think that was that was what was needed, really. I think that it could have gone one or two ways, and we, we both said let's make the best of what potentially could have been an awkward situation. Um, and we spoke at the, the beginning of the year about what the next couple of years is going to be, whether it's going to be here or whether it would be elsewhere. And we, we had an op like um, we had an opportunity to make it really successful. And I think we've made an awkward, a potentially awkward situation, a profitable one. And I, and I believe that's the outcome we've come at now. And I think I'm really excited about what the next two years will bring. And there's an exciting crop of young players as well. Is that something you're excited to work with those guys? Exactly. I mean, I'm not I'm not getting any younger. I'm, I'm 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 in my 30s now, and I mean, but I'm in the same token. I'm feeling I probably feel fresher now at 30 than I did at 21, um, in the nicest possible way. But the Leeds have always had a really good strong base of youth coming through, and you see the crop that are coming through now, like Sir Callum McLennan, Tom Allroyd, and all those kind of guys. So if yeah, if I'm if I can be around and help them and set a good example to them. Um, and that's also another valuable part of what I could bring to a team. But I can say on, on the on the flip side of that I'm really enjoying playing and, and enjoying playing my role that I'm playing in the team. And obviously it, it helps having quality players around you. And I think we're building something very uh, special here and working hard to maintain that and, and develop that. And when you first came to Leeds, you talked about wanting to win silverware here, and, and that remains the remains the ambition. That's never changed. I mean, obviously we've gone through. A couple, uh, a couple of changes, did a couple of new coaches, and a couple of um, a turnover of players, and that. But I, I actually feel that this group that we've got at the moment is is one that's ha hard working and working for each other, and, and and all buying into the same cause. I think, and that's something that I'm excited for, and I wanted to be a part of, and to stay a part of, and that was a major factor in my decision.